In this video, we will learn how can we add text and value to a dropdown by using the option tag. Let's start. Let's create a dropdown by using text and value. Let's go back to the Visual Studio. And over here, if you can notice that we are using only the text value. We are using this text for two purposes. First one is we are displaying same text to the user and we are adding the same data to the database. Now in this video we will learn how can we modify this approach and we will display something different to the user and we will save some different data into the database. What does it mean? Suppose over here in this drop down I want to update this text property like one of the best language and for the English suppose I want to add some other text like global language and to the Dutch suppose I want to add some more messages my custom messages suppose I want to display this type of data to my user but into the database I want to save only Hindi English and Dutch language I do not want to save this rest data to work with this type of situation we have to use value over here whatever you will write into the value that will be saved to your database so suppose in the value I'm writing Hindi Let's add value for these two languages as well. Now we have two things into the drop down. This part is called as text and this part is called as value. This section is used only to display the data to the user and this section is used to work with the database. If you will update your language over here, then it will not make any impact onto the value. You can write some different text over here and the some different text into the value. From the database point of view, we are only concerned about the value property. You can write anything over here into this text section. Let's run this application. Click on the add new book link. By default, you can notice that we are getting English as a selected language and focus on the text. The text is English and global language. Let's add some data to this form. Suppose I'm writing Azure. Let's add the author details. Description, total pages. Click on the add book. Okay. Let's focus what we got into this model. Here you can notice that in the language property we are getting only English. We are not getting the rest text because this data is coming from the value, not from the text. Let's click on the continue button. Here you can see that the book has been added successfully to the database. Let's refresh the database and click on the books and choose show table data. This time you can notice that we have two book into the database. This is the second book and here you can see that the language is English. If I want to add a new book with some other language, then I can choose any language of my choice over here. Just focus on the text that is visible to the user. So it means you can show something different to the user and you can save some different value into your database. Let's focus on the HTML as well. Right click on this drop down and choose inspect. Here is the select tag. And if you can notice that this is the value, value is Hindi and text is something different. Value is English and the text is something different. If you can notice that by default this English is selected. Why? Because we are passing this value from the controller. And remember, if you are using text and value both of them into your form, then you have to pass the value property from your controller. If you will pass the text from your controller, then it will not be selected. You have to pass the value property. What does it mean? It means from this add new book action method you have to pass the value property for your language. If you want to display Hindi into the selected language then you have to write Hindi. And all other concepts that we have learned into the previous video all of them will be applicable to this drop down as well. It means if we choose this please add book language and click on the add book then click on the continue button you will see that we are getting an error message over here. We have already covered this concept in the previous video of this tutorial. In the next video of this tutorial, we will create this drop down by using the second approach. Make sure you hit the like button of this video, subscribe to the channel and share this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.